Something so I can see what there is to uh, explore here. Uh, so I don't know yet, but um, I want to see the city. I'm sure our press and our fans will help you with this. Yeah, please and, do. Uh, for now, I want to ask you how was your first rehearsal? How did you find our stage and then all the stages you've been today? Uh, I think it went good. It was a little bit different because we have done this exact performance so many times in Sweden and uh, this stage was new, so it was, it was kind of new camera angles and stuff, but I think it went pretty well for being the first one, I would say. Okay, so for now, uh, I want our press and our fans to ask some questions. Yes, you sure. ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, so who wants to be first? Please. Mike. Can you please turn on the mic? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Alistair Birch from Eurofile. Uh, Robin, can you tell us a little bit about your interest in motorsports and have you ever had to decide between motorsports, motocross and music? Yeah, well, I actually got my first motocross bike when I was three years old. A week after I learned how to ride a bicycle, my dad came home with a motocross bike and uh, I started competing uh, when I was 10 and uh, did so for 12 years. Uh, but like, I, I stopped racing professionally, or what you can call it, um, when I was around 17. And so I yeah, pretty much had to choose between music and uh, motocross. Because um, it's hard to mix them up. If you, if you break a leg or something, which happens quite often, <laughs> so it's yeah, hard yeah. to get on stage and say. Robin, isn't it too early, like three years old? Uh, well, I don't think so. I think it's good to start at a young age and uh, I really liked it, so... So, I'm sure we'll have more questions, please. What are you interested in? So please tell us how was your first rehearsal and uh, what are your first impressions about the arena, about the stage? I think the stage looks really cool, the big LED screen, like, it goes in front of the audience and uh, well, the stage looks really amazing, I think. And uh, the arena is nice, it's like the... In Sweden we have like a semi-final as well, before we have the national selection. And uh, the, the size of the arena is pretty much like that, so it's not too big, so you can still feel the audience is pretty close to you, and I like that. You guys know that national selection for the Eurovision Song Contest in Sweden is now at the festival. And uh, is it look like Eurovision? Well, it's like it's, a huge festival. It's, it's really big for being Sweden. It's, 
I think it's like around the three or four million people watching out of ten million people in Sweden. So it's really big, and uh, it's big arenas, and uh, it's, uh, the concept is uh, very much like Eurovision. So that's a nice thing to do right before we go here. So nothing new for you was today, right? Going Not really. Like ear adjustions and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it works. Really. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. Please, we have more questions. Hello, Robin. Jay from Radio International, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Um, Robin, Stiello wrote the song for you. Yes. Uh, how did that collaboration come up? And would you also write a song for him? Uh, well, me and Robin has been good friends for four or five years, and we hang out a lot like on our private time as well. So we have written a lot of songs together. And uh, I think after my last year in Magnificent he really wanted to be the one to write my song. So he set up the team with the K1 and the Lovin, and the, they they wrote the song specifically for me. Um, so when I first heard it, uh, I just loved it. Thank you. Uh, please, more questions. Hello, Robin. Hello. Leigh Martin from Radio 4 Triple Z in Brisbane, Australia. Oh, nice to meet you. Likewise, Sweden leads the world in pop music. You have a very good song and a great presence. Do you feel a lot of pressure that you have to keep up this great tradition that Sweden has, not just in Eurovision, but in pop music? Uh, not really, actually. I think. Uh... I think we have done so well so many times in the uh, last years in Eurovision, so if we don't do well one year, uh, I think the Swedish people would be fine with that, so I don't feel the pressure. Uh, not this year, right? <laughs> yeah, hopefully not. We'll see, but uh, I, I just don't feel the pressure, and I get this question a lot. Um, but I think, I think they have already chose their contestants, so if it goes bad, it's on them. That's good, thank you. We're waiting for more questions from them, please. Hi, it's Fernando for ASUnited.com. If you had to pick a song title for your life, what would it be? Of course, you can't pick I Can't Go On. Um, wow, that's a tricky question. Um, I think... Uh, the first song that I really that, that made me want to be a singer is a song called "I Don't Wanna Be" by Gavin DeGraw, and he, he was my first really big idol. And uh, the song is um, uh, the lyrics is really um, recognizable to me, and I, I can uh, put in a lot of events in my life. So that would be the one I think. Thank you. How do you think, Robin? What is uh, what will be special about your performance on this stage? What we probably haven't seen before, or something else? Um, well, the thing is, we start the whole performance backstage, and uh, kind of walks in onto the stage as, uh, as the song proceeds, and uh, I think that's something new to your, your vision, I think that hasn't been done before. And uh, also the treadmills that we're walking on is something that really stands out. So I think we have a lot of things in the performance that stands out to the other songs, but uh, we'll see how it looks in uh, on TV. I, I don't know yet. I have we haven't figured out exactly how to do all the camera angles and stuff, but it, it really looks cool. But today you had like a 30 minutes to discuss how we we'll camera adjusted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we are still working on it. Yeah. Thank you. Now, we have more questions. Please. Hello, it's JP again. Uh, can you maybe tell us how you got the idea of staging your song with the platinum and how long did the preparation for that performance go? Uh, well, it was actually uh, Sign, who is my choreographer, he came up with the idea with the treadmills and, uh, and I sort of had the idea with the backstage uh, start, so we, we mixed the two ideas together and uh, the preparations took a lot of time actually because we custom made the treadmills, so they have been built for this purpose only, yeah. And that took about, I don't know, a couple of months? Two months. Two months. Uh, but when we started to rehearse, I think we only rehearsed for two or three days before we leave the start. Thank you. We have more questions from the floor. Hi, Robin. Hey. Congratulations for your first creation this morning. I'm Farouk Valet from Vision Magazine in France. 
Um, did you hear the sound of this year, the other songs? And if there are some of them that you appreciate very much? Uh, yeah, I've heard uh, all of them at least once or twice, and uh, some of them more because we've been out of this, um, this promo tour together. And uh, there are a lot of songs that I like. I think um, I really like the, the song from Denmark and uh, Belgium. Uh, I also like France and uh, Portugal. Thank you. We're waiting for more questions. Yes, please. Robert Neymar, again from Portugal Seven, Brisbane, Australia. You're the very first performer in Eurovision this year. The first song first staging. This is an unusual place for Sweden to be. Yeah, I've heard. When, you, <laughs> when you've had the draw come out and, and you were given that, did, you, did your heart sink a little bit thinking we have to really start in a big way or otherwise everyone's going to turn the TV off and go home? Uh, well, maybe not that, not as harsh as that, but I think it gives you some pressure, but I think it's a, it's a cool way to start with the, the kind of performance that we have, that we start backstage and, you know, bring the show to the stage, so I think it would be, it will look cool and it feels good, because when I'm done with my song, I can just sit back and enjoy and watch all the others. And whose idea was the best, like, that you are starting backstage and then going on stage? That was my idea. That's good, thank yeah. you. Uh, for now, we're waiting for more questions, and we have some questions from your fans, from our social media. Okay. So, Robin, are you going to try Ukrainian national dishes like borscht and vareniki, like small dumplings? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know what it is, but uh, I'll try it. Okay. Because <laughs> you haven't tried it yet. No, I'm not okay. yet. Okay, so do we have more questions from you guys? Please. Hi, Alistair again. I have a food question as well. I understand you are honoured by your hometown with a special food recently. Yeah. A pizza. Can yeah, you pizza. tell us about that and tell us a little bit about, about the town as well? <clears throat> well, I grew up in a really small town in the western parts of Sweden. It has like 3,000 people living live there. And uh, the, the pizza place where I always went when I lived there, they made a special pizza that is called the uh, Robin Special. <laughs> and it has pretty much everything on it. It's like meat and uh, french fries and uh, salad and uh, you know, it's like this thick. So it really tastes good though. So if you're ever in San Yungan where I was born, you should go there. Thank you. More questions from your fans. What are your expectations from Ukraine? Not from the Eurovision, but the, from, from our country. Yeah, well, my expectation I've heard there is a lot of nice culture here in Kiev and uh, uh, nice food, nice restaurants, nice people and uh, pretty, uh, beautiful buildings. And uh, uh, when did you uh, realize that you are going to become a singer, that this is your dream? Oh. Uh, I think I was like 16. 16? Yeah, but I've, been, I've been playing music and singing before that, but it was when I was 16 that I really felt like I wanted to work with, with the being a singer. Thank you. Do we have more questions from the press? Okay, so here will be the last question. Well, we had food questions and now it's a travel question. Yeah. Uh, it says in your bio that you like traveling a lot. Which is a country you would, you would really love to see and you haven't seen yet? And which country is so far the best you have visited? Oh, that's... I would like. I would love to go to uh, Australia uh, and South Africa. I haven't been there. And uh, favorite so far. Um, I really, I really enjoy spending time in all of the countries around the Mediterranean Sea because I really like the weather and the people. Yeah. Thank you very much for your answers. Thank, Thank you. you. So it was our first meet and greet for today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sweden. For now, we will have a small photo shoot. So yeah. please join me there. Sure.